Welcome Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for this wonderful um, returning. Welcome all newcomers. Please remember um, to like and share these videos. I do love you guys. Yes, I'm back on camera. Alrighty, so what we are seeing here in this month of March is going to be a month where a lot of changes is going to be coming up. It's going to be fast changes that is going to be coming up one of the most beautiful things that I haven't seen in a very long time for you Capricorn in a reading is the Nine of Pentacles. It has been a long time Capricorns. You have the energy of the Nine of Pentacles that is coming up in this month. Money is going to be coming in. Um, I see the first chakra is going to be balanced. The first chakra have to do with your financial stability. I see a whole lot of eight is coming at you. Um, stormy weather is going to be coming at you. This is about a whole lot of eight that is coming at you. Information that is coming at you, but you're standing your grounds. Okay. So <clears throat> it's as if there's a lot of money that you should be receiving um, because they recognize that there was some sort of a, a network or criminal group that uh, took a lot of money. Um, whether you took it or it, it was taken from you, I see this money is going to be coming back. It's a um, nine of pentacles and it says reward yourself for all your hard work. Being happy and successfully employed. Chemistry um, with other people around you. Cherish your time cherish your alone time and this is going to be beautiful now what we're recognizing um that is coming up is that uh, a long-term stability of money is going to be here this is can be inheritance a payout a lawsuit payout inheritance money that you have saved for a very long time is going to be coming out like you know you had money um, that you put away for some sort of a time it is going to be coming out this is going to just be powerful a lot of money is going to be returning to some of you that money was stolen okay money that you put some of you are going to be putting money on savings okay um so it's as if you come in with a whole lot of money came back to you whether it's from airfinis or whatever you sold a place an apartment or a house you are going to be putting away this money for lockdown for a long time put it on a um a savings account or something that um bring up a lot of interest okay um okay i am advising you guys um to do that i don't believe in stocks okay i don't believe in stocks and i know the reason why um so um you know if you watch the wolf of wall street a lot of you will um, recognize why i don't believe in telling people to be as um you know put your money on stuff or buy stocks is there is just i don't advise my business client it's better that you put it on an account for a long time and you generate interest then you know that the interest is coming um in um but um, a lot of people buy stocks but the, when the stocks uh, drop you lose all so your money but um this is another time for the business channel let's look and see what is coming up in this month so we see um first chakra some sort of a healing money is going to be coming in some of you could be receiving some money that was stolen from you it's going to be coming back you have capricorns whatever is happening it, it, this one is a uh, march and it's a tower moment but it is fast transition and you have the energy of the organization institution you're going to be recognizing some sort of a criminal act in a corporation institution that wanted to hold a lot of money from you and didn't want to pay out a whole lot of money and you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming this corporation institution in the third week you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming this corporation institution the truth is going to be coming in about the lies and deceptiveness in a corporation institution that was trying not to pay you out a whole lot of money now in this money is not really only for you but it is um it's as if you had a mortgage or you were saving some money and it is time that the money be released and uh, um this corporation institution was lying and trying not to pay you out this money 
and you are going to be showing them up for the crooks that they are and you're going to be standing your your ground and this money is going to be paid out to you a lot of you are going to be recognizing that the bank financial institution recognize that someone has stolen a lot of money from you by using your identity and lying okay in the first week i see you're dealing with a corporation institution you're no longer heartbroken because you stand your ground and you let them know that um, you, the money needs to be paid out or the data and information. I need to access the data or the information. It was like a corporation institution thought that you were an idiot and didn't know that you were aware that your mortgage is either paid off or and money was supposed to be released. It could be that a dead relative had left you some money. But this corporation was trying to recreate a new contract and not giving you the money that was saved on your uh, you know your mortgage that had a saving part they were trying to <clears throat> to to give you a new contract which is uh, not what you're agreeing to and they were trying to create a whole lot of issue but you stood your grounds you stood your grounds you stood your grounds um a whole lot of fire coming at you but you're like no this is dishonest so, um and it's coming up as a bank financial institution something that you had money put away it's as if you want to change your mortgage you want to change your mortgage and they're giving you a new mortgage when you're already 17 years in your mortgage so that cannot be ladies and gentlemen you gotta be aware because these brokers they only think about themselves and what we what some of you are recognizing in that it's a, it could be a stockbroker and whatever that is going on. These people are not making enough money. So they were trying to give you some sort of a new contract or, or create some sort of a new contract. But they were closing off the old contract and your savings depot, they didn't want to give you the information. And you found out the information. You found out the information. And this is why I say it to you, ladies and gentlemen, do not talk to people on the phone. Do an email. You have black and white, okay? Anytime you're putting anything on freeze, on safe, or whatever, any contracts that you're creating, whether it's with a, a car, a lease mask, a pile, whatever it is, um, you need to understand that these people are not in your best interest. No salesman, okay? No salesperson is in the client best interest. They are only looking for how much money they can make from you. And if they recognize or think that you are not aware of how the the how it goes they will give you some story like yeah this is how the um head office say it should do this is no 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 ladies and gentlemen go and research it for yourself whatever the stockbroker this bank or financial institution is is a criminal okay someone is trying to give you a new mortgage when you don't need a new mortgage all you need is that you're re um you know you're changing your mortgage and it can be a situation where you're going to be billing or yes you're going to be rebilling on your house so you're asking um for an extra and what these people are doing because they thought that you were stupid and you know a lot of people like to insult the intelligence of capricorn people but there was a crooked situation that was uh, happening in this organization because this organization whoever is in this organization you recognize that they did not your first uh, whatever you did with them the first agreement you lost 30,000. You have been asking this corporation for 30,000 that you took out of one house to put into another house. They cannot show you. There is nothing on the paper. There is no information that you can see where that 30,000 came out from your other house or came um, from you, you know, renewing your car, renewing your vehicle or, um, you know, they can't show you where that 30,000 that came out from another house or another asset so they can't show you and you recognize that there was some faults now you go back and you're trying to resolve a situation you want to bail on your house you want to um you know buy out your partner or whatever you want to do so you are trying to get a new deal on a new deal and they want to give you a new 
um mortgage or a new contract and forgetting what is in the old contract because they were hoping that you didn't know how much money but you are aware of what was going on because you have the paper of the whole contract that was created you went back you look at the old contract you saw that 17 years you're in the 17 years you have a 30 year mortgage you see that you're in the 17 years of this mortgage so what needs to be done is that they need to recognize how much you have um, you know save on this and what they need to do is so um, give an extended so they are going to be looking at how much you have um, paid off in the 17 years how much is left over then they're going to be taking um, the the savings and deduct it and then you um, um, they put on the um, new part, whether it's 50,000, 40,000, whatever you're asking for, and your mortgage is supposed to less. Now, these people want to give you a mortgage of 300, 400,000, and you don't need that because they're only thinking in their own for themselves. They wants you to set up a new mortgage your insurance is going to cancel they're going to be creating a new insurance the money that you have saved is not going to be paid out to you but paid out to them themselves so they're going to get a bonus because ladies and gentlemen let me advise you of something every mortgage every lending that you do the sales person get a bonus the biggest the mortgage that they can give you two three hundred thousand is the biggest bonus that they have they do not have your own interest at art ladies and gentlemen so when you are going for a mortgage do not go to a third party do not go to a mortgage broker go to direct to the bank or to direct to the person because they are crooks and criminal and they only think about themselves so there needs to be some sort of a cleanup as to what people do someone in their 17 years of their mortgage with a, a 30 years mortgage you can't just want to give someone a new mortgage in order to just change a name someone is leaving the house the house is, is um, given to someone else it's only a change of name you don't need to change that whole um, mortgage because the person is door um, the 30 years of their mortgage they are like the 17 so they're more than even over the half so you just want to fool your pocket and cheat out another person and this is why ladies and gentlemen it is time that third parties are cut out of business because all they do is cheat you out of your wealth okay and they wanted to get that money to give someone else they have used your information falsified your information let someone else was on your mortgage you were paying to mortgage ladies and gentlemen so check that out okay these people are just so disgusting so I see that you're going to be standing your ground against a corporation institution and it's as if you Capricorns are saying Jesus Christ I have been with this corporation institution for so long and these people are really trying did they think that i was so dumb you know and you you guys are going to be just standing your ground you're standing your ground so in the second we can say no 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 the situation needs to work out i'm aware of the first contract i have the information i have the data why is it not being released to me it is my name, my contract, my data. Why is it not releasing to me? And I see you're going to be standing your ground and showing up people um, for the dishonesty that they are. There is something that some of you, and it has to do with salespeople, um, brokers, you know, that sort of a thing. People who make bonus, their pay, a part of their pay is from bonus. And they thought that you were stupid. And they wasn't even aware of who you are because you recognize the game that has been playing and you have the data and the information, but you want to see what are they coming at because you want to know how much in the 17 years, how much have I paid off? What is in my my um, savings spot? Okay, and your insurance, you don't want your insurance to be changed because you're in 17 years of a 30 years low time. You don't need to change your insurance. So, ladies and gentlemen, before you make any more contract with this dealer or this mortgage broker or whoever this person is, get the facts. If they can't give you the facts, um, then you cancel that and you, you just walk away. Cancel and walk away.
we have the end the eight of once a whole lot of information a whole lot of data is going to start coming at you because i see in the second week you're standing here gross and said listen here i have the information it is not correct this is all i'm saying it is not correct I don't need to have a new thing. I just need an extra on it. Look at how many years I've been sitting in this. So, it, you know, it was people who thought that a lot of you um, was um, stupid. And I see money is going to be returning because in the third week, with data and information that is going to be coming in, they're going to be recognizing that a whole lot of money, um, what some of you should have received, it could be an inheritance that it has going on so long that the will has to be administrated and it was locked up in this and that and you're fighting to get the situation resolved and you recognize that people thought that you were stupid and was trying to hold back a whole lot of money from you truths came out and now you are showing up a whole lot of a situation that was transpiring in a corporation institution and the deceptiveness that was plain and here it is you will receive that offer. You will receive that offer because they recognize there was a lot of false play. People, it's as if the people were treating you as if you were a child. And you're thinking, Jesus Christ, I don't think so, people. I'm aware of um, how this situation is. I'm aware of how it is. Don't treat me as a child. I need to have the information and ask them for the information. And you need to give me the information. So whatever that was transpiring, Someone was trying to take a lot of money from you, a corporation institution, and you're like, as if you people have ripped me off already, okay? And I see you're going back in whole documentation, and ladies and gentlemen, protect your documentation. Whatever you do, protect your documentation. I would advise everyone um, to find a way to protect your documentation because there are deceptive people, especially when you have a contract with someone, always have a copy somewhere hidden where you can go back and look at it because people try to pull a fast one, especially when they're selling you a product that they're going to be making a whole lot of money off. They like to pull a fast one on you. And that's the last thing people must do is pull a fast one on a Capricorn because a Capricorn already seen you um, long before you're coming in and recognizing that you're not coming from a positive place. So Capricorns, you will get your money. These people are just really, really deceptive. They're recognizing now what these people were doing. There was someone who had tried to use your identity and data, and they were trying to, um, and a mortgage that you sit on for a lot of years, they were trying to um, give, pay out that money to someone else. And a lot of you were like, Jesus Christ, why can't you look on the old contract and recognize what the, my, the, the correct spelling of my name? And you're recognizing that, no, 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 these people are playing a game. They're playing a game because there's something that they're trying to do. They're trying to set up some sort of a situation. And you're like, hold on. You mean you're working in a business and you can't spell someone's name um, correctly? Where is the first contract? Where is the first contract? And you're recognizing that they were playing a game and pulling this out and pulling this out and pulling this out because they had their agendas. And you Capricorn are going to be saying, listen, um, this situation needs to be resolved and I'm not leaving until the situation is resolved. I need the documentation and the data and I'm not stopping at this until it is resolved. And I see a lot of you are going to be, um, you know, using and coming from out of your base chakra and said, no, no, no. So many men, so many people have stolen from me. No, I'm not letting this money. This contract is supposed to um, you need to give me the date and the, in, uh, the update of this contract, this situation. And unless you give this to me, I'm not signing a new contract with more money and more information and more things that I don't want. And I see a lot of you Capricorns are going to be standing your ground because you recognize that they're only thinking about themselves um, in order to get some sort of a huge bonus for themselves. So, and not recognizing that they need to do it properly. Why are you going to be breaking up a mortgage that is running for 30 years when you're only in 17 years and all you want to do is to build on your house? 
All you want to do is to renew your car. All you want to do is buy um, new um, appliance for your house. No, they are just trying to rip you off so that you pay more money. And I see you Capricorns are like standing like a Dutch person and said, nope, don't need all of that. Not taking all of that. <laughs> So Capricorns, you're going to be really, really standing your ground and said, no, I don't need more than that. I don't need, no, this is what I want. This is the cost of the car. This is the lending. This is what is there per month. I have the car for so many years. I want to pay off for the car. I want an extra to, um, you know, get a new car. And you're going to be looking and say, no, no, no. Because the more that these people write, the more um loan or the more lending that you are going to be taking the person who is creating it uh, who is the third party the third parties the people need to cut out these third party people and go directly this huge corporation needs to find where you can speak to their people and not the third party because the third party is someone who um you know and you're recognizing that hey um if they're not even spelling my whole my name properly, where I've been sitting for 17 years with these people, and you're not um, spelling my name properly. No, you're doing something. You're creating a lot of chaos because you're out to get something. Um, and you're trying to hold on on documentation and information. And that's not how it works. You need to update me on the documentation for over 17 years before I am going to make any changes. You're not going to give me a contract and just say, and, and think that, oh, here, this is for you. No, because you Capricorns are going to be standing your grounds. And here is a situation where we see that you Capricorns, especially with a business documentation, 88, money is going to be here um, for you Capricorns. There is a, a no question about it. Money is going to be here because people are going to be recognizing that you know um, a business and you recognize that a company corporation is trying um, to steal a lot of money okay because um, you recognize that no I'm not changing and I'm not ending my contract I am just asking for extra to support a situation you know you can be building or you're changing your car or whatever it is and they think that you were stupid and you're saying, okay, so if I take this new contract and what you're giving me, what happened to all the money that I've saved? What happened to the 17 years that I've paid all of um, this, all what I've paid in the 17 years? What happened to um, my, um, my insurance policy that is on this? Because no, no, no. All they have to do is to change the name on the insurance policy. Um, one person is leaving and it is left to the other. Um, the, 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 the money that was saved and the money that was, that paid off in the 17 years, you need to work that out and show the client before you are going to be creating a new contract because a new contract is only for to pocket your pocket. It is a situation where the client needs to be treated with respect and the information needs to be given to the client. You can't just make up something and say, oh, this is what Ed Office said. Ed Office doesn't say that because it's not true. Why would Ed Office is going to be stopping um, a mortgage for 30 years or a loan for 30 years? Why is Ed Office going? No, Ed Office wants that to pay off. So they are just going to be putting the extra lending and continue that situation and change the names that is on the lending. So a lot of you Capricorns is going to be saying, no, 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 that's not true. And I see you're going to be standing um, your grounds because there are people in a corporation institution that don't want you to have some sort of a data information because they are lying and they're trying to give someone else and is trying to pretend to give someone else a whole lot of people was on your contract because you saw that there the first contract you could not see the 30,000 that you bring from one house or you bring from one car in another or the 20,000 from the old car that you change for your new car you couldn't see it where is it that is supposed to be shown the cost from the, the, the um whatever you're buying 
um, the money that you're bringing minus that from the total cost of what you're buying. Then the, 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 the service cost, you add up the service cost and then you see what is at the end. If you have anything that you, you save, that savings is also supposed to be off and the rest plus the new amount that you're borrowing. That's how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let anyone sell you any puss in a bag. These people should recognize uh, um, that um, you must be honest in business. The more honest you are and the more time that you spend with your clients, uh, people will love you for who you are. And I would say to you know all these people who are the lenders, speak to the person yourself, okay? Speak to the person yourself. Stop going through third party. Get customer service to work for these people because a lot of third party, that's how people data and information has been stolen. And they are also lying and creating chaos and stealing people information at the same time. So ladies and gentlemen, let's look in this. 88 is going to be a good month when it comes on to money. Mm, a very, very good month. I see um, whoever have a business, I see you're standing your ground, you're showing up, you're showing up a corporation institution that has not been, you know, carrying out their work properly. I see heartbreaks for a corporation institution, the energy of the devil is going to be down and the deceptive playing a corporation institution that they were taking money from people on the false pretend and not paying out people insurance and that sort of a thing and it's um canceling insurance and recreating new insurance because all of them are going to be getting bonus and you are the one that is going to be paying the price i see truths is going to be coming out about corporation institution insurance companies brokers um, learning corporation that they have been cheating the clients and customers for a very long time. So I see a corporation institution, some sort of a heartbreak is coming up for this corporation institution. People are recognizing data and documentation and how these people work and how these people make huge bonus. And you, the little man, have to be paying and picking up the costs because these people make and create and get their um, huge bonus from just giving you another learning and not looking at what it is that you need and not what you don't need. So they are giving you a huge um, thing there because they're getting big bonus and a corporation and institution is going to be recognizing that people were holding back some sort of a data and documentation because they wanted an old contract to, to close so that they would have gotten the money for themselves. This is a criminal act, ladies and gentlemen. This is like a whiteboard criminal. It's the same thing you are doing. Whether or not you walk around in a suit and knowing that money is on um, someone inheritance that was left or a bank, a financial institution, or however this is, and you are trying to work against giving the client the just what they should receive and is keeping back information and data, you're a whiteboard criminal. As we move on, we're looking in the second week. The second week, the energy of the devil is coming down because people are going to be recognizing what this corporation was doing. A whole lot of you were dealing with a corporation that was holding back a whole lot of data and was giving you some sort of a new contract that you do not want because you have 30 years, 30 years, you have 30 years um, that you need to pay off some sort of a loan. You are just borrowing loan so that you can bill and use the loan for something. You're taking um, an extra loan. And what these people were doing, they didn't want to give you the date and the update of the 17 years that you have been paying this loan and you have 13 years leave. Why any normal business corporation is going to be ending a contract of 13, uh, thir uh, 30 years when you are now through the 30 years, you have done 17 years. Why? No, it's because they wanted to make money for themselves. They wanted to make money for themselves. They didn't want to give you um, the, the adjust money that was supposed to pay off from what you have been saving on this lending uh, money um, for your insurance. No, no, no. They just wanted to shut down the insurance, shut down 30,000 that was uh, transferred from 
um, one house to another house was never seen in your mortgage, ladies and gentlemen. And now you're looking at it and you're wondering and you're thinking and you started asking questions. And because you started asking questions, it ruffled a lot of feathers. You never get an information. They just give you a contract and you said, no, I don't want to sign. I don't want that contract. I want details of how much I have paid off in the, in the 17 years. Okay. Before I make any decision, I want to see the savings on this mortgage because I have a saving part and I have a part that I'm, um, I'm paying off. I am now 17 years and I need to know exactly what is transpiring. And they were holding the information and I see in the second week, all the information is going to be coming out because people are going to be recognizing that these people have been doing this situation for a long time and giving people these big loans um, um, that they don't really need. And, uh, you are saying, no, 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 I'm not stupid. I'm aware of how this process is worked. So I see a lot of you, like I professional people say, no, 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 don't treat me. Don't insult my intelligence. I'm aware of how the process work. And this is not the correct, um, way that it is done. I am not going to give up a 30 year, um, um, mortgage um because i just want uh, someone um my partner's name off and um to create a new lending no 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 you're trying to hold back some money because you're trying to pull off a fast one and it's not going to be happening and you know a lot of you were like jesus christ how many times do i have to spell my name you have the old contract and you're you 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 know you went to the head office you're asking the head office hey um um, I would like to have information about a head office to say, oh, you got to go back to your mortgage, mortgage broker and you're going to the mortgage broker and the mortgage broker is not telling you because the mortgage broker think that you were stupid and had some sort of a plan to shut down your old um, lending and get all the money off of it and give you something new. And you're like, no, no, no. You think I'm stupid? I have data from um, what I'd signed for before. And I see you're standing your ground and showing up this data and said, it is incorrect. I'm not taking a new, um, uh, I'm not taking a new loan. I need this to be resolved in a positive way. And I see in the third week, I see a new offer is going to be coming in um, for you. Some of you money is going to be paid out in the third week. And I see that you're going to be standing your ground and a new offer is going to be coming in the fourth week. Ladies and gentlemen, it is something where a lot of people, um, a lot of customer, a lot of clients, a lot of um, the customer is being the, you know, the dupe from um, these, these sales broker, I don't like third parties. Okay. Nothing with third parties. I don't like third parties. I'm always going to the source on the board, the, the source, um, the big man up the top because these people, um, you know, it's like you walk in a, a, a shop and a, the first person who comes to you, I'm like, if my spirit doesn't, um, you know, if, if I don't, I don't feel the person. I'm like, um, it's okay. I'm just looking around. When I'm ready, I will find someone who I feel a connection to. A lot of people, um, you need to understand there is certain things that you need to change. Okay. Um, because like, you know, change your insurance no more than five days by five years by insurance. A lot of people need to recognize that because customer service is not what it used to be. Okay, and I think that the people who are working on customer service, they need to be properly trained and they're very rude and they, they, they are unaware of their job. Okay, most of them is unaware of their jobs. And sometimes I get like um survey and I'm thinking, really? After that service? No, I'm not doing a survey. So that is just like one thing that I stopped doing surveys. It, it must be really something or someone that I dealt with personal that I'm going to do the survey for that person. But serve, customer service is uh, all over the world. It is just bad. I think a lot of uh, huge corporation is not aware of why people are leaving their co companies. It's because customer service is very, very bad. And, you know, like there is just some people and, and I see a lot of discrimination in customer service all over the world. Um, it depends on 
the person how the person speak they will definitely ask for some and, and this is it if you're a customer person um you get to recognize and i think um if uh, I, I i think this is it because language is um is going to be leaving us okay 20 25 years no one is going to be speaking a language everyone is going to be going via computer okay everything is going to be digitalized so languages we're not going to be really um needed but i think the problem that happens is that i mean if you're a customer person a service person you have to be a happy jovial person okay if you are someone who is always irritated do not take a customer service job okay because it doesn't really help it only kills the name of the company um customers are going to be leaving because your your service is bad people are going to be giving you a bad um write up so because uh, you know whoever is on the line that pick up that call um is 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 the one is is the one that shows who your company is and i see overall the world it is just bad it is just bad and i just think that big companies um stop you know put in customer service in another country because that's how people data and information is being stolen basically and a lot of people recognize that data and identity theft is via customer service from huge corporation is being placed in different countries and they're accessing your data and a lot of people were not recognizing what was happening use your own people in the country trust me if um someone who is on um you know government support or whatever gets a job as a customer service and it and they're paying well normal of wages they will take it use your own company people and stop sending data of uh, um people information into another country so that um um you know undeveloped people can know you have people in your own country use the people in your own country educate them okay that is how you build a really um strong foundation for your company but also for your company why are we setting jobs out in different undeveloping country those are the people who are stolen um, stealing people identity by accessing when they call so this is a situation where i see a lot of you a lot of you capricorns is going to be recognizing that there is some sort of a false play so i see in the third week you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming you're going to be getting a lot of shit on your board but it's like you capricorn is thinking okay fine come with it because um, really and truly, I know my rights and I'm standing my ground and I see you're getting a whole lot of backslash in the first week, but you're like, it's your problem. Resolve the situation. Are you giving service? Now resolve it. Okay. So I see you, you Capricorns are really going to be standing your ground because you recognize that, you know, this, this false play that was transpiring. And I see people are going to be loving you. Um, because people recognize that, hey, this Capricorn don't really joke. Honesty is honest, ladies and gentlemen. The problem, um, why there is so much dishonesty in, you know, look at countries that is run, um, through, oh, paid under the table, paid under the table for this and that. Never good. Never good. Always problem. Economy is bad. Countries that goes through rules and regulation, one price at everywhere. And that is, that is where you see that companies and economy and countries run, um, smoothly. A country that you pay underneath the table for this and pay underneath the table for that, uh, their economy is bad because they don't put back anything out of, in their economy. They only take out of uh, their economy. And this is what we need to understand. The infrastructure in a country, um, has to be looked at as what you put back in your country. Okay, so taking, taking, taking and draining the swamp, the swamp is going to be dry and it's going to become a desert, desert and nothing is going to be there. So when you take, take, take from the people who are using your service and you're going to be taking, taking, taking from someone at some stage, it's the, the, you know, the pond is going to be dry. And this is exactly what has been transpired. I see a lot of people are going to be recognizing that, hey, this person, um, have norm. 
you know this person is really someone who stands um for justice and equality and i see because of this i see a lot of you are going to be pulling in a lot of business for yourself because this person people are going to be recognizing hey this person is very good this person knows a lot and you know this is the person that i want to be on my side this person has information and vital information that can help me and a lot of people are going to be coming towards a lot of you and your business because um they're going to be recognizing that hey this person is very very smart this person use their um ideas into like in a very good way in order to help other people to let other people understand things and this is going to be good so i see light is going to be shedding on some sort of a data and information that people were trying to hold back you're going to be getting a sun storm of s h i t over you but it doesn't really matter when you stand up for injustice and equality people can either do two things they can aid you or join you whatever way you are standing up for people for injustice and equality and this is a situation where if someone is taking a service from you and someone is creating um um you know financial stability for you you need to be respectable and take and not trying um to take from this person not trying to um you know suck this person dry not trying to um create criminal um you know by taking from this person you need to be honest and show data and documentation whenever people don't show data and documentation it's because they're lying and they're cheating okay so be aware of that and be aware of whatever new contract for a house or a bank of whatever you're doing send your ground ask them for the data make sure that your data is properly up the uh, update and you are receiving the information um because there's a lot of people that is going to be creating and and and, and creating some sort of a, a situation in order to get a lot of money and i see you're going to be taking down this corporation institution because the, they recognized that, that they were playing some sort of a game and taking advantage of a whole lot of clients. And they're going to be going back and looking at all the grand contracts that they have created because they're going to be recognizing that some sort of a, um, uh, information was, um, um, you know, was not. Uh, entered in a contract and you're going to be showing that up so good for you ladies and gentlemen go for it um you know long-term stability is going to be coming in for a lot of you um because you shed light on a situation that was happening and transpiring it was as if you recognized that a whole lot of people that was being uh cheated a whole lot of people was being cheated out of some sort of a um way how they do lenins and that sort of a thing and how people put a bonus they will you know create more lenin in order for them to get bonus and that is just it's whiteboard criminal ladies and gentlemen and a lot of sales people does this a lot of sales people and that's why i don't believe in sales and i don't believe in sales people if i'm going to buy something i'm going to read up on it um it will take me like a month to make a decision because i'm going to look at all the possible things no i don't want a salesperson if i can do without the salesperson i will do without them because they all they are doing is looking how much they can give to you to spend because they're looking for their big bonus and i think that that is not the way if you're an honest salesperson i like the salesperson that is i'm going to go in and i'm looking at something and they said um you know to be honest um you know i bought that and it didn't really work out this is a different one for you and i'm going to be thinking what was the problem what and that is the person that i'm going to choose that is the person that i'm honestly because that person is going to take time to say hey i you know i have problems a lot of people have problems with that and they're not going to be selling you something that they know is defect and that is a person i know honest um salesperson when i come against one and i see because of this this is going to give a lot of you long-term stability in a corporation institution because you could be finding out that there was some sort of a false contract that was created in a corporation institution and because you pull the bell on this a lot of people are going to be recognizing jesus thank you for saying that i'm going to go back and look back at my data and my information and all my learnings and all my um to see 
you know, if I if I was cheated and a lot of people are going to be going back and it's going to be grateful that a lot of you Capricorns really show up uh, some sort of an unconventional behavior in a, a corporation institution and how they were creating and taking uh, and cheating a lot of people out of their wealth and um, their assets and their business by falsifying and won't give up information. And I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, save your information. It's very important. You save your data and information. Long-term stability because you show up some sort of a um, unconventional situation in a corporation institution. I see a whole lot of love is going to be coming to you. A whole lot of people are going to be loving the work that you're doing, loving your service, loving you at the workplace. A whole lot of business is going to be coming in for a lot of you. And I see um, a lot of you who are looking for a job, a job position is going to be opening up in a government institute to corporatization, and they're going to be asking you to come on board with them. All right, Capricorns, what is going on? Bam, bam, bam. You can't keep a Capricorn down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, bam, 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 Capricorn. You're going to be getting a lot of <laughs> But it's like, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, okay? Jealousy, jealousy, jealousy. And so some sort of information is going to be coming in where you're going to be recognizing is that people thought that you were not aware of how a certain business plan is set up dealings and you are going to be thinking, okay, so you thought that because I'm in this profession, I don't know anything about your profession. Okay. So um, a positive um, letter is going to be coming in in the third week um, offering you um, uh, some sort of uh, um, excuses. Um, I see a lot of business also coming in in the third week. Um, whatever the news is coming in in the third week is about a whole lot of money. I see a friend is going to be staying faithful to you for a very, very long time. Whoever this friend is and whatever is transpiring, I see... Um, whoever this friend is, you shed light on a situation and protect this friend. And this friend is going to be staying faithful to you for a very long time. And I see a lot of you Capricorns is going to be opening up some sort of a door for a friend. This friend is someone who you have known a very long time. You care deeply for this person and you're going to be trying to help this friend to give this friend a new start moving forward so very 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 positive um, news is going to be coming up and it's going to be happening um and i see people are going to be staying faithful to a lot of you capricorns because you stood up to an unjust situation in a corporation institution so i see um fidelity um um, um is coming in so i see a lot of uh, a merriment uh, um, a lot of jealousies around you, Capricorn, but you're going to be um, some information from a corporation. is as if they didn't want to work on it or whatever. They have to do it now because it is now publicly shown that there was a lot of jealousy and hate from a corporation institution. It was true jealousy um, why they were trying to block a situation. You're going to be victorious and successfully overcoming a whole lot of news and a whole lot of money. Is going to be coming back to you. People are going to be recognizing um, that money, a whole lot of money was stolen from you. I see light is going to be shedding that a corporation and people in a corporation was just jealous um, and was trying to ruin you and ruin a situation. And they're going to be recognizing that it's jealousy. They're going to be releasing the information that you need to get. Then we recognize that... Um, um, a friend is going to always stay open and always stay honest to you. Whoever this friend is and whatever is transpiring, this friend is going to be really staying true to you no matter what. So a lot of you is not showing up who this friend is. But whoever this friend is, this friend deeply cares about you. Um, and uh, um, this friend could be in another place, another city, they deeply cares about you and they're going to be always leaving 
um, like the door open for you because they recognize that you have been really, um, uh, you know, that you stay true to them and they are going to be staying true to you. I don't know who this friend is, ladies and gentlemen. It can be a friend um, at the workplace. It can be a friend in a corporation institution. But this person is definitely definitely going to be getting a whole lot of information is going to be coming out from a corporation institution um a whole lot of data and i see an offer is going to be coming to you and a friend and this friend is going to be making sure that you get and receive a good offer from a corporation institution i see a corporation institution is going to be recognizing that you have been um you know um trusted to them you have been truly uh, faithful to them and they are going to be making sure um that they show the thanks to you and be faithful to you also thank you ladies and gentlemen i gotta go i think it's like an half an hour i do love you guys please thumbs up share these videos and i'm saying namaste until next time